हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप सो सिक्स ए एम इन द मॉर्निंग हेयर है ना एंड आई एम सिटिंग इन सैन फ्रांसिस्को तो बट मैनी ऑफ यू आर रिक्वेस्टिंग दैट आई एम नॉट कमिंग लाइव सो आई थॉट आई एल कम लाइव टुडे एंड वी विल डिस्कस द इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ जोग्राफी एन फॉर गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम्स and uh, just woke up so sorry for my hoarseness in my voice anyway it is very important for upcoming preliminary exams so the class 6th ncert the earth our habitat and uh, the chapter 1 is the earth in the solar system so try to learn about full moon new moon stars uh, constellation tricks to remember the planets of the solar system in the order of their distance from the sun always remember what is dwarf planet what is icy dwarf what is trans neptunian objects what is asteroid belt what is kuiper belt where does it lie and uh, everything is really really important and uh, try to learn about the time variation daylight saving time international date line like uh, why it is 6 am in san francisco here and why it is i think 740 pm in india right now okay so this becomes important asteroids meteoroids definition of galaxy evolution of solar system etc then chapter 2 is globe that is latitudes and longitudes so we will discuss basic of globes like equators latitudes longitudes tropic of cancer tropic of capricorn is sab important hai theek hai fir arctic and antarctic circles heat zones of earth like torrid temperate and frigid how to measure time using longitude these becomes important then third chapter is motions of the earth so motions of the earth mein kya padhna hota hai concepts of rotation and revolution what is leap year why do we add one day after every four years what is summer and winter solstice what is equinox ये सब इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हो जाते हैं चैप्टर फोर मैप्स पे बेस्ड है बट उसको आप स्किप कर सकते हो वो आपके लिए उतना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है अभी क्योंकि आपको अलग से एक एटलेस खरीद के वो मैप्स पढ़ने पड़ेंगे चैप्टर फाइव है मेजर डोमेन्स ऑफ द अर्थ तो ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है डेफिनेशन ऑफ लिथोसफेयर क्या है एटमोसफेयर क्या है हाइड्रोसफेयर क्या है बायोस्फेयर बेसिक इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट सेवन कॉन्टिनेंट्स टोपोग्राफी ऑफ फाइव मेजर ओशियंस जो हैं पाँच मेजर होते हैं ना ओशियंस कंपोजिशन ऑफ एटमोसफेयर ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ बायोस्फेयर एक्सेप्ट्रा एक्सेप्ट्रा तो यार ये इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हैं ये प्लीज़ ढंग से पढ़ लेना फिर उसके बाद आता है चैप्टर सिक्स मेजर लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ तो उसमें इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल प्रोसेस विच शेप्स द लैंड फॉर्म ऑफ द अर्थ एंड टाइप्स एंड सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द माउंटेन्स प्लेट्यूज एंड प्लेन्स एंड देयर सिग्निफिकेंस लैंड फॉर्म्स पीपल तो ऑल दीज थिंग बिकम्स रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट और इसमें से क्वेश्चन आते हैं तो डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं वट आर द लैंड फॉर्म्स मेजर लैंड फॉर्म्स ऑफ द अर्थ एंड यू कैन गेट इट इन प्रेम्स एज वेल एज मेन्स then you have chapter 7 which is our country that is india so you have to understand the basic uh, geographic information about the country locational setting political and administrative divisions physical divisions are the most important part of this chapter what is peninsula what is islands what is deccan plateau what is himalayan region what is gangetic basin so all these are like important topics jo aapko pata hona chahiye then class 8th is india that is climate vegetation and wildlife so what are the major seasons in india definition of monsoon and what are the reasons for regional differences in climate then five types of natural vegetation of india jo aapko pata hone chahiye deciduous aur jo himalayan vegetation hota hai their distribution what are the important trees and social economic and ecological significance of forest basic information about wildlife diversity of india so all these are like really really important topics and uh, this uh, is the important topics of class 6 geography ncerts now let us talk about the class 7th geography ncert our environment by the way when it comes to environment i have just launched a course on environment and ecology 1000 mcq so you should definitely watch that course it is the ultimate course it will cover all the important topics about environment and ecology so class 7th is our environment so chapter 1 is environment there so natural environment what is lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere concept of ecosystem human environment so try to give a cursory reading to that and uh, that becomes really really important and uh, how do you go about it so that is also important now chapter 2 deals with inside our earth and uh, earth's interior which we include crust mantle and core so that is important rocks and minerals types of rocks mechanism of their formation rock cycle definition and examples of minerals so all these are important topics and then chapter 3 is our changing earth so it has like endogenic and uh, and exogenic forces uh, it's very cold air it's very very cold air 10 degrees or above temperature so this may aega classification of figure 3.1 is very important here and mechanisms and components of volcanoes and earthquakes weathering and erosion by various agents so river has mechanism of formation of waterfall meanders 
oxbow lake flood plains leaves delta they are all important topics and sea waves are like uh, various erosional features like caves arches stacks cliff formation then ice is glacial erosions and moraines and wind includes like mechanism of formation of mushroom rocks sand dunes and low s so that is important chapter 4 is air so understand the composition of the atmosphere significance of nitrogen kya hai oxygen kya hai co2 then structure of the atmosphere the layers of the atmosphere read this part very very carefully and it is important then uh, third is difference between weather and climate insulation and its distribution reasons for development of urban heat island so all these are important topics which you need to understand then distribution of air pressure vertically and horizontally then types of winds which are there permanent winds seasonal winds local winds theek hai ye kafi important hota hai cold winds hot winds theek hai and uh, then moisture that is very very important part of this chapter humidity condensation precipitation types of rainfalls so all this is important no need to read the old ncerts koi nahi puchta unme se uh, especially in geography then chapter 5 is water so you understand water cycle uh distribution of water bodies so in pre 2013 with the prelims which i gave there was a straight question out of this the ocean circulation waves tsunami tides and their significance and ocean current significance in climate fishery navigation is of important hai then chapter 6 is natural vegetation and wildlife so factors which are affecting wildlife vegetation types of natural vegetation now characteristics distribution and trees which are found in different types of forests like tropical evergreen tropical deciduous temperate evergreen temperate deciduous mediterranean coniferous the basics of different types of grasslands all these are important then chapter 7 is human environment settlement transportation and communication so settlement can be permanent and temporary rural and urban transportation just go do a cursory reading it is not that much important and finally communication also do a cursory reading theek hai sarsari nigaon se usko cursory reading kar lena then chapter 8 is human environment interaction the tropical and the subtropical region okay amazon basin equatorial climate characteristic of rainforest is very very important cursory reading of the people living there and the rainforests then go through the ganga brahmaputra basin physical characteristics topography the various type of crops crops that are grown there vegetation wildlife all are important read carefully then chapter 9 is life in the temperate grasslands so prairies pampas wilds these are important geographical extent so table pad lena uh, 9.2 and farming in the region animals found they are called as the granary of the world dairy farming hoti hai yahan pe so prairie pampa gaon hote hain wilds pastas ye kaun kaun se country mein hote hain inke naam pad lena so focus on the location surrounding physiography climate characteristics what are the industries like wool dairy mining all these industries are there then chapter 10 is life in the deserts so talk about desert biomes hot desert cold desert Sahara Desert, like location and surrounding countries. Figure ten point two is important. Climate, types of vegetation and animals. Bedouin and Tuareg tribes, agricultures in the region. Then Ladakh Desert, physiography and climate, types of flora fauna, culture. Uh, remember the four monasteries which are mentioned here and give cursory reading to the rest. Then class eighth, uh, geography and CRT, resources and development is the title of the NCERT. So chapter one is resources. To try to give a cursory reading to this chapter to get an idea about the types of resources available there. then chapter 2 is land soil water natural vegetation and wildlife resources so understand conservation of land resources measures landslides and its mitigation mechanisms then you have soil it is a very important topic so try to go through the soil profile in figure 2.3 factors affecting soil formation in figure 2.4 are important now remember all the soil conservation methods mentioned here like mulching contour barriers rock dam terrace farming intercropping contour bluffing shelter belts then water you have water distribution water cycle focus on conservation of water resources then you have natural resources and wildlife so focus on conservation methods and it is important for both the prelims as well as mains then you have chapter 3 which has minerals and power resources so minerals include definition of minerals their types metallic and non metallic method of extraction then distribution of minerals like try to remember the major minerals found in various continents and their leading producers now distribution in india try to memorize this by heart will lot of questions are asked then power resources memorize the figure 3.10 it has a very good depiction of pros and cons of various conventional sources of energy then you have coal petroleum natural gas focus on the distribution in world in india then hydel power mechanism of hydel power generation important hydel plants in india then non conventional sources memorize figure 3.16 focus on distribution and location of plants for wind nuclear tidal geothermal energy 
and practice the diagrams which are given for nuclear tidal energy and biogas then chapter 4 is agriculture so what are the three types of economic activities so that becomes important and different types of cultures related to farming now types of farming is very important very important especially for prelims exam so there is focus on shifting cultivation commercial grain farming mixed farming plantations all this becomes important now major crops so most important part in this chapter try to memorize the climatic conditions required and distribution of every crop which is given here now give a cursory reading to the rest so get a basic understanding of farming in india versus the united states of america then you have chapter 5 which talks about industries so classification of industries like try to get a basic understanding of various type of industries on raw material size and ownership industrial regions of the world and india then iron and steel industry which is very important because locational shift has been asked in mains straight out of uh, one paragraph given here and locational factors distribution in india are important very carefully the case study of jamshedpur which is in india and pittsburgh which is in usa okay then you have cotton industry locational shift in india locational factors and problems in ahmedabad and osaka osaka is a place in japan and information technology so locational factors especially for bangalore and california where i am sitting right now pehle bangalore mein the bhi california mein it hubs in india etc and then chapter 6 is human resources so it is a chapter on population geography and it is very important for mains and sa and population distribution density around the world why does india and china have a huge proportion of the world population more than one third of the world population lives in india and china factors affecting distribution of population you need to understand it well population change like get an idea about pattern of change in world's population in 19th and 20th century focus on factors like birth death rate migration now analysis of population composition by population pyramids now these pyramids can be on drawn to answer questions of population geography in mains to get good marks so i hope uh, this live session was good for you and i'll come back whenever i get time in usa so thank you and have an awesome day uh, good morning here but good night there thank you